Hello refining enthusiasts! Today I'll be working on extracting gold from cell phone flex touchpads. This material has consistently provided misleading Yale data, prompting me to personally delve into the process to uncover the truth. Well, I've gathered about half a kilogram of this material. There are numerous sticky substances on these touchpads that need to be cleaned first. I will use a solvent to dissolve them. After leaving the materials in the solvent for an hour, I then immerse them in water with addition of some dishwashing liquid. This method effectively removes all the sticky substances. Now it's prepared for the next step, initiating the gold recovery process. To prepare the solution, I began by dissolving 40 grams of stripping powder in 2 liters of water. The stripping solution was introduced into the bucket followed by addition of an extra 1.5 liters of water, making a total of 3.5 liters of water used. I began adding flex touch pads into the solution and as you can see the gold started disappearing rapidly. This indicates that we are working with low grade materials. I poured off the solution and thoroughly washed it to ensure all dissolved gold was removed. To recover gold from the solution, I'm planning to employ an old laptop charger for electrolysis. I opted the stainless steel as the anode and steel wool as the cathode. I positioned the bucket on my hot plate to facilitate the stirring of the solution. After running the cell for 3 hours, it appears that the gold has electroplated onto the steel wool, evident from the color change. I choose to gently wash the steel wool by immersing it in water to avoid flaking off any of the gold. The solution became messy and I believe it's due to the low quality stainless steel I utilized. Here you can observe the gold present on the steel wool. Now it's time to treat the steel wool with hydrochloric acid to reclaim the gold foils. There are no longer any issues with tin and metastanic acid.
I attempted to dissolve gold by adding some bleach, but it appears to be impossible due to the high concentration of ferrous ion in the solution, acting as a reducing agent. That's why the solution turned brown after the addition of bleach. Actually, ferrous ion turned into the ferric ion. To proceed further, I had to filter and wash the gold foils to eliminate iron from the solution. Additionally, the stannous test for the solution was negative. You can observe a positive test just for the control. Filtration using filter paper proved to be too slow, so I switched to the cotton filtration. Subsequently, I placed the cotton piece along with the gold foils into the beaker, adding some hydrochloric acid and nitric acid to refine the gold. Afterwards, I repeated the column filtration to clarify the solution. Then I added some sulfonic acid to eliminate excess nitric acid. Subsequently, I dropped the gold using ferrous sulfate. In the end, the addition of some sodium metabisulfide would be beneficial to fully precipitate the gold. And here is the precipitated gold. Stunning gold. Recovered 0.275 grams of gold from 500 grams of cellphone flex touchpads. I find it somewhat distant from their enchanting appearance. You let me know what's going on here. Please leave me a comment and don't forget to like and subscribe.